Welcome to PA History To Go, a series of videos presented by the Pennsylvania Historical Museum Commission with funding from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. These short videos, filmed at locations along the Pennsylvania Trails of History, serve to introduce virtual visitors to our sites as we explore the varied stories that make up Pennsylvania's rich history. Watch them all to learn about the people, places, industries, and events that make Pennsylvania so special. Tin is one of the elements that's on the periodic chart. What we use is tin plate. Tin itself is very soft. This was sheet iron that was hammered out, dipped in molten tin, and then it went through some oil baths to melt the tin so that you could get a nice coat on it. This building is now the tin shop where a tinsmith would have worked on tin plate. The tin shop was in the building next door to us, but it moved over here because they thought they had more room. Originally, your tinsmiths would have been apprentices that were learning from a master craftsman. Uh, Lancaster had three tinsmiths around the turn of the century, the 18th and 1900s. Most things were useful utilitarian pieces that like were used in the home or by other businesses. A lot of lighting devices were made that were needed, like student desk lamps, wall scouses, oil lamps, chandeliers, candelabras, things like that. And of course, back there on the shelf is a squirrel cage because they might keep him not as a pet, but for food. You would have things like dippers. There's a dipper on the counter there. Spoons, milk pans, or um, pudding pans, or uh, baking pans for like baking cakes or pies. They would also make things like that. Anything you normally think of as being a uh, cast iron or pottery at that time, which was heavy, they could now make in a lighter weight material. That was cheaper and expensive and bright and shiny, and they used to actually call this poor man silver. Uh, hanging off the ceiling there is a hearing aid. We have a nursing bottle. When the people come in here, I talk to them about the items. I show them the machines that were used and the tools, the stakes, and I will demonstrate how they work if they ask. And I have fun coming out here and visiting with all these people that come in here. And I show them all these crazy things that they just can't guess what they are. <laughs> 